In this video, we'll work on understanding Canvas pages. And by the end of the video, my hope is that you will be able to create a new page, add content to the page, and then customize your content, such as the size or the placement or the alignment. Create links to and from your page, and then save and publish your page. Now, when you're thinking about Canvas pages, it's best to think of them kind of like a blank Word document. And we'll get into that as we get into Canvas. The first page you will probably want to make is your home page. And you will want to make your home page inviting and welcoming to students, so you'll probably add some kind of a graphic. Now, your home page will be the place that your students will keep coming back to and navigating away from as they navigate around your course. So you will probably want to add some links or buttons to other pages that you will create. And then you can create other pages and link them from that home page. And then from those pages that you've made, you can go on and link on and on and on. Now, here's some helpful hints. Plan out your pages, first of all. Now, I didn't do this, but I've learned that it's helpful to do that. Kind of sketch them out, diagram them out. Think about the subjects or the, the units, lessons you want to do. Think about the design that you might have an overall design, graphics you might use, how you might want to link together, and other content you might want to have on your pages, such as videos or audio files or documents, links to documents. Also think about graphics. And again, if you're like me, I kind of made them as I went, but again, it's kind of a good idea to gather them and create or create them ahead of time. And it's helpful to upload them to the files inside of Canvas, but it's not completely necessary. It's helpful to do that though. When you first enter your course for the first time, your homepage will probably look something like this. And that's not very inviting to your students. So we want to create a custom home page. And if you look down at these menu items on the left here, you'll see one that says pages. And if you click on that, it will take you to um, a list of pages that you've already created. If you have, I have a couple there. Yours will probably be blank. So to create a new page, we just come over here to the plus page and we click on that. And the first thing it asks us to do is title the page. Now this is important, or this is our home page and you could name it home, but I'm going to name mine welcome with an exclamation point, just because they are going to see the title of the page on the page. And so that will help you. So this will become our home page, but I'm going to call it welcome. And you can see right now that this is our workspace right now, and it's pretty limited. Now I've learned that if you come over and you grab this little handle, click on it and pull down, you're able to kind of expand your workspace here. And you can see that there's my cursor flashing. And that's why I, it's important to think about pages as Word documents. And you can see up here, these menus are similar to the menus you might see in a Word document. Um, so wherever that cursor is, is where your content will be placed. So wherever that cursor is, that's where it's going to go. I'm going to, I'm going to add my little welcome banner. So I'm going to click on I'm going to center, I'm going to center align that cursor. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click on the images and I'm going to upload an image. And if I click on the rocket, I can either drag the image over or I could, uh, or I could um, click on the rocket and it will take me from there. You can navigate around. I'm already in the, uh, the folder where I keep my images. So I'm going to choose this welcome banner and I'm going to open it and it gives you a little preview just to make sure, is that the one you want? Yep, that's the one. So I'm going to say submit. And right now that is a little small, so I'm going to make it bigger. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to click on options. And right now it says medium. I can customize it. I can say extra large, small. So let's see what it looks like in extra large. Click on done. Now that looks pretty big. If I come down here and I can say save, what it will do is it will take me to back and this is what the page looks like. Actually, that's not bad. I might leave it there. Yeah. Okay. I'm okay with that size. So I'm going to come back to edit now. And again, I have to grab that handle 
pull it down so I can see my workspace. Now, right now, you can see my cursor is flashing. So anything I were to add right now would be to the right of that banner. I don't want that. So I'm going to hit Enter to bring my cursor down below. It's still center aligned. And because your home page is going to be a place where, again, we are students keep coming back to, I'm going to create some buttons here. I'm going to place some buttons that I've created here. So again, what I'm going to do is come up and click on upload image, click on the rocket again. It takes me back to there. I'm going to add a reading icon, a reading button. I'm going to add that one here. So open it up. Now, yep, that's the one I want. So that one is going to be huge. And I created them huge because I knew I could shrink them. So another option besides um, another way to resize them, you can click on on those and you could say small. Let's see what, what happens if I do that. Um, that's okay. I think I'm actually want it a little smaller than that. So you could actually grab a handle and kind of resize it, like try to get down to 50. Can I do it? There I go. So I like that size better. The other option is click on options custom and you can set the width and the height of the of the graphic that you're trying to do but i'm going to leave it there okay so i'm going to save again since this is just an example so right now this is what my welcome page would look like this is what my home page would look like um and i'm starting to think that that banner is a little bit too big so i'm going to shrink that down what we're going to do is we're going to link that now to another page so i'm going to shrink this uh, sorry, expand this out. I'm actually going to quickly resize that. I don't want extra large. I'll just say large. Okay, so now here's our or here's our page. And what we're going to do is we're going to link now. We've created a button. We've added a button. And I'm going to show you how to link to another page. So once you've created a page, you saved it. You can save it. You don't have to necessarily publish it, but you can say save and publish. But I'm going to then link to a page that I've already created. So I'm going to choose the graphic that I'm going to use as my link. So I want them to use this as a, my students use this as a button. And if I come up here, this is the link icon. And I'm going to say, I want to link to external, something external. Nope. That would be like external would be like a, a YouTube video or a, um, a audio file or a document, something like that. Nope. I want to link to something that's I've already created in the course. So it brings up this and pages, assignments, quizzes. Well, I'm going to link it to another page and I'm going to link it to my reading, the home page for reading. So now if I save this and I click on this button that, that the cursor turns into a hand and I click on reading and it takes me to my reading page. So this is a page I previously created. Now I want to now, if I click on home though, right? Cause I always want to be able to go back home. If I click on this home, it doesn't take me to the page that we just made. Uh, we need to choose our home page. And if I click on this, choose my home page, uh, I want to say use front pages, front page, but it won't give me that right now. So what I need to do is go back into pages. Here's all the pages I've created right here. And I want to create this welcome one as my home page. So if I come over here to these three dots and I say, oh, first off, I need to publish it. Sorry, there's now it's published. Now I can say use as front page, but we're still not there. So <laughs> click back on home. It won't be the front page yet, but now it will let me choose. If I come over here to choose home page, now it will let me choose this welcome front pay from pages. So I can save that. And now every time my students click on the home button, it will take me here. So I'm going to click on reading. And then I want to get back. So I just click on home and it will take me back to my new custom home page. So hopefully that helps you with understanding uh, pages in Canvas.